Yo, how are you, bruh? Hope you're doing good, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you're having a good day so far. But, hey, can you go ahead and do your boy a favor? Hit that like button and that subscribe for your boy, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for 20K, but we gonna keep it pushing, you feel me? But anyways, that's all I'm gonna say for now. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, have a good day, my boys. Hey, what is up guys? It's Wartero and we are back with another video. Now today, we are on a new JoJo game named Project Sans 2. Now this game is really nice. I really like how they did this. It's very unique. I've not seen any JoJo game do uh, what this game did. Um, it's actually released earlier today. Bro, if you haven't played it, I'm gonna need everybody that watched this video to play it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. I'm gonna need y'all to pull up and go ahead and play this game. But this game is actually cool. But regardless, um, what I'm going to be doing today is showcasing off the S tier of uh, the world. Alright, but something I want to point out before the video starts real quick. If we go here, there's a fairy. Now, what you can do with this fairy is make stands. Now, you get uh, to make stands, you actually need souls for them. And to get them, you have to open crates. And you can literally buy the crates from the shop by grinding money. So, it's kind of a full circle. You go ahead, grind money, uh, buy the crate. See if you get the souls. If you don't, go ahead and repeat it just to get the S ranks. So the S ranks are obviously really good since they are S ranks. The best one is easily Zoza, bro. Zoza is so busted in this game, bro. I don't know if I'm going to get him and do a video, but for now, I'm going to stick with doing the World Showcase because he is very good. But in the next episode, I'm going to be showing uh, the moves. Um, and then we're, I guess we're just going to do some quests or something. So without further ado, uh, let me get this arrow. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? Let me get this arrow right quick. But yeah, without further ado, let's go into the video. Oh, wait, it's another one. <laughs> Alright, without further ado, let me make sure there's no more. <laughs> Alright, without further ado, for real this time, let's go into the video. Alright, so like I said, the S ranks are pretty rare to get. So if you guys get on and it takes you a while, bruh, it's 0.75%. It's under 1%, so it's going to be hard to get one. But regardless, uh, in order to unlock the moves, it's actually a pretty cool thing you have to do. So you have to level up the individual stand. If I go to my The World, right? And it says level 13 out of 20. He's not maxed yet, but he has two skill points on him. So what I'm actually going to do is go go ahead and go in here. So if you see, I have a lot of skill things that I can unlock. There's a health path right here. And then there is the strength path and the moves right here. Now what I'm going to do is actually upgrade my... Oh, never mind. It's one out of one. I'm going to upgrade my knife throw then. Get it to level three. So uh, as you can see, there's damage boosts, health boosts. So moves, a regular stand barrage, heavy punch, and the special moves. That is how you get the moves for them. And you obviously have to do quests and level them up. The first quest you start with is this one. Or no, the monkey quest. And then go to this one. And then the cops. And then do the boxes over there. That's the order I did. But regardless, I'm going to go ahead and show up all the moves. So we're going to start from here. Because this is actually where you start. And then it goes to the ultimate. So first move, we have his knife throw. Now knife throw, it does 70 damage. It's not really, um, it's a decent move for picking people off, or even like just, you know what I'm saying, zoning some NPCs out, because they can't catch up to me, so I can literally just walk back and keep spamming knife throw, and they can't do anything about it. Now, that is definitely pretty cool. Oh, that's, that's cold, bro. I didn't even realize if I stand jump, I get it on my foot. That's cool. But, like I was saying, so if I actually, like, just, you know what I'm saying, keep doing this, they not catching me, but regardless... Next what we have is Heavy Punch. This Heavy Punch is different for every stand. Deals looks pretty cool, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he make that little, ah, oh, that's cold. It definitely cold, but I like the effect on that for sure. I don't know if it has range on it, does it? It does have a little bit of range on it. Okay, that's cool. And then, of course, we have Stand Barrage. 10 apiece for Dio. The uh, base damage, as you can see, my deal doing 44. It's one, it's still up for three, uh, three things, right? So one is tier. The, bro, uh, l listen, the A tier is not doing as much as no S tier, you know what I'm saying, it's not doing, bro, like, you, they all scale, I think they all scale by 10, so like, D tier is 10 damage a pop, well this one is 5 star, so it might be different, I'm not gonna get to the star system this video, maybe when I do my next video, it's too in depth for me to even get into that, like, it's so many unique things about this game, bro, like, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to play this, bro, but l like I was saying, though, uh, I think at D it's 10, then C20, B30, A40, and then S is 50. 
But regardless, we have the ultimate time stop. Now, I can actually spam knives much quicker in time stop. And this is actually going to be nice. Like, bro, 200 damage, that is a lot. Uh, for when they add bosses, that is going to be really nice. Because it's literally just concentrated fire at one person. And you literally just spam it too. So, definitely really good. I'm actually, what quest do I have on right now? Okay, so I have boxing lessons. I'm actually going to go ahead and... I, I don't think I can do them with Dio, bro. The, bro, those boxers are some serious. They do so much damage. And, like, Dio doesn't have AoE moves. For this boxing quest, you literally practically need AoE moves. But... Hey, I'll try it anyways. I'll definitely try it anyways, bro. Let me let me go ahead and uh, these dudes might be a problem because look, as you can see, like they catch up to you. So it's def definitely different from I might die. Oh my gosh, I might die. It's different from the uh, oh my gosh, bro. I keep getting stuck on stuff, but yeah, it's different from those uh, little grunts that was back there because these dudes actually hurt a lot. And if they all hit you at once, that's instant death, bro. There is no way around it unless you got Ultra Instinct IRL, bro, or something. I don't know. But what I usually do, leave them back here, go back around. But like I said, I'm going to actually try something. So if I time stop and just spam knives, I kind of want to see if it hits all of them. It doesn't. Okay. Well, that only hits one person, too. Oh, my God. Oh! Why would you do that? What? Chris, I'm, I'm going to kill you, bro. <laughs> Chris, why? This dude, Chris, literally did that for no reason at all. Face. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. But, yeah. I, hold on. Let me try it again. Bro, time stop wasn't even finished, and I still used it. It was like half. Did y'all see that? Oh, I think that hit everybody just now. But that definitely doesn't hit everybody. That's tough. Can I can't connect bruh let me see what happens if i press it again oh i can't use it again that would be busted huh bro now he's about to target me chris all right let's actually jump this dude let's jump this dude oh my gosh yeah fight back bro come on oh my <laughs> all right now we gotta kill all these other ones hold on it's not stop gonna work no it's not but yeah this this game is definitely cool the only thing I say is like fix the lag spikes. So there's a lot of lag spikes in this game, um, like a lot of lag spikes. I kind of guess like it would be from the effects and stuff. Cause when you actually use an arrow, for example, I'm gonna show you guys right. If I were to go ahead and use an arrow, it you see all these effects, bro. And uh, by the way, it's actually damn. I got two crazy diamonds in a row. It's actually kind of hard to get a stand other than Hero Fit Green, cause he's really common. He's a D. A D rank, so S ranks, like I said, 0.75% chance to get. And then I don't know what the, any other ranks are, but yeah, definitely uh, pretty hard to get. Now, there's a bunch of other things you can collect, like little um, orbs, like I said, to star your. Actually, I didn't even mention this. So, orbs, uh, you use these orbs to star up your stand. So, you actually get these orbs by selling, or not selling, but going to that fairy and then returning your stands that you don't need and then turn into orbs and then you can power up your main stand bro the concepts in this game is really nice but um it it will obviously be harder for an s rank uh i actually got another the world but i gave him to my homie you know what i'm saying i you know he ain't have an s rank so i had to supply for the boy you know what i'm saying but regardless like there's things like gold ingots um these are for the casino so if i actually go over here right Oh, I wish I went forward a little bit, but if I go down here, you actually have a casino, and if you get a gold coin, you can spin for multiple different things, like, for example, hold on, I can click, right, I can, oh, I can't, but there's, like, uh, presents here, there are different gold ingots, there are, like, 20 stand arrows, a bunch of different cool items that you can get from here, and, uh, you can also customize your character over at Zoza's as well, you know what I'm saying, get a new fit or whatever, but actually, I might get some, get me some, uh, get me some Luffy, Luffy shorts, man. All right, that is not no Luffy shorts. Skirt, no sir. <laughs> Swimmer shorts, all right, I'm gonna stick with the jeans. I'm gonna just stick with the jeans, man. But yeah, this, oh wait, that's a turtleneck? No, nah, I'm gonna stick with this best. This look cool. But yeah, this this is definitely a really, really good stand, man. Definitely really good stand. All right, guys, so uh, before I end the video, there is a Christmas event right now. Like you can get some certain uh, stands by opening the 2020 Christmas gift crates, you can get like Santa, um, snowman. Hold on, they're actually here. 
Um, yeah, Santa right here. I actually just got him. Um, I already had 75 souls from one of the crates that I got. And then um, one of my homies, you know what I'm saying, he just slid on me 25 and I unlocked him. There's also a Snowman. Uh, let me see who else there is. I'm pretty sure that's it, just Santa and Snowman. But Santa looks pretty cool. Hold on, let me actually show you guys. You know what I'm saying? An X, S rank Santa. I don't, I'm actually about to level him up right now. Gotta get him some levels, you feel me? But yeah, your boy got three S ranks now. That's nice, man. Santa, Dio, and I'm not gonna show you the last one. That, that's for a different video. That's for a different video. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed. That's gonna be the end of the video. Like, subscribe if you're new. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.